local weather authority forecast. Ample sunshine and seasonally hot air continues to be the big story across the basin. This is a live look at Midland later on your Tuesday afternoon. We do notice the very thin cloud coverage across the skies right now. Very thin clouds not producing any rain as temperatures only beginning to lower with more humid and breezy conditions underway. Satellite and radar showing that the past 18 hours we did have some rain activity and also some very thin cloud coverage much earlier this morning ever since then near Roswell that rain activity has deceased and diminished and we're seeing very clear skies in our neck of the woods thanks to this big high pressure system north and west of us in the four corners region this big high pressure system really suppressing organized cloud development in our neck of the woods but we do notice that clockwise flow bringing in some of those clouds into the basin the very thin clouds the low level moisture undercutting this high pressure system that is why there are mountain thunderstorms in New Mexico and also in Arizona only beginning to slightly dampen the record-breaking heat in those areas. Speaking of the heat, we're still seasonally hot out there. Heat advisory expiring in the next few hours till 7 p.m. Mountain Time for Carlsbad, down near the Rio Grande and Marfa in the Big Bend region. This heat advisory also expires till 8 p.m. Central Time. Temperatures still in the upper 90s, lower triple digits for many, but we're starting to see those temperatures lower. Mostly clear skies this evening. Again, those clouds pivoting around that high-pressure system overnight into tomorrow morning, not producing any rain. Average high this time of year, 96. Average low, 73. That daily record high temperature set back in 2000 at 105. We're short of that. This afternoon, we got to 100. Low temperature this morning, 77 degrees. So seasonally hot, not scorching hot out there. So we are starting to see the less hot and more humid trend, as well as the more breezy trend. Winds coming in from the south, a little bit from the east from time to time, lessening in intensity this evening and later tonight. Those winds picking up from the south, southeast in the Rio Grande. But late tonight to tomorrow morning, dropping before picking back up tomorrow morning from the south, southeast. Once again, providing the pretty mild and humid conditions in eastern areas of the basin but despite that rain for conditions mostly clear skies overnight in the 80s with the winds dying down from the south southeast then we start to see tomorrow morning those temperatures lower into the 70s pleasantly mild at 77 winds picking back up from the south southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour currently in the upper 90s and lower triple digits from midland odessa to big spring still in triple digits in the trans pecos but marfa and alpine sitting in the low to mid 90s Pretty warm for this time of year, but not really hot. This evening dropping in the 80s for many locations overnight. We're going to be seeing upper 50s and 60s in the Marfa Alpine area, 70s for throughout the rest of the basin before we once again heat up tomorrow. With slightly more clouds, high temperatures will be slightly lower, but still seasonally hot in the upper 90s and lower triple digits right around the 100 degree mark tomorrow. Now, more clouds will start to arrive Thursday and Friday. We'll start to see those high temperatures lower even more. Again, 100 tomorrow, similar to that of today. 99 on Thursday and Friday, despite the more humid conditions. Rain chances pretty low, and then we start to see more sunshine return this weekend. Another great weekend with a little bit of relief in terms of the heat before we heat up early next week. Now, we'll take a break in terms of the heat, but just as important reminders, make sure you guys stay hydrated, stay cool out there. You think this is signaling maybe the end of summer? I want to say the end, just a little bit of relief in terms of the summer okay. heat. I think we got like 58, maybe 59 more days till fall, and then give or take like 150 till winter. So we're looking still a little to while to wait. Nothing you've yeah. been counting, yeah. Still a little way, way to, <laughs> I'm probably off a couple days. It's but uh, close enough, and uh, yeah, we'll take the slightly lower temperatures as well. Sounds good. Thanks, Ryan. Of course.